Hansen from the South Bend Tribune. Brian, uh, what is it? What does the number one quarterback have to show you? What is it that you're looking for in those guys that's going to separate those two? Well, it really is mastering um, the offensive system. And when I say mastering the offensive system, there are so many different things that we can do within our offense that that quarterback has to be able to uh, be efficient in all areas. That is, getting us in the right play, checking to the right protection, making sure that the right people get their hands on the football. So it's more than just arm strength. It's more than just uh, leadership capabilities. There are so many other factors involved within the structure of our offense that the quarterback must excel at. I think there's also uh, now an added dimension in that you know, we feel very confident about uh, the kind of defense that we can play. Uh, that taking care of the football now uh, is, is a premium. Uh, we've got to take great care of the football. I know everybody wants to take great care of the football, but that's actually one of those boxes that we've got to check off. Uh, with the quarterback. We've got to ensure that he's going to be somebody that uh, is not going to turn the football over. So mastering the offense and all the complexities within, and then really being uh, careful uh, with the football. I have a question about Michael. As you kind of distance yourself from the day that he was reinstated to the team, do you talk to him, do the coaches talk to him about what happened on a daily basis, or do you try to distance it and bring normalcy to what he's doing at this point? Um, it's part of who Michael Floyd is for the rest of his life. And and because of, of mistakes that he's made, um, you know, he's always carrying that with him. And we don't go back and, and, and relive that. We, we look at how Mike handles himself every single day. Um, and I think that's what I focus on more than anything else, is knowing that, you know, every day, Michael, uh, that is, is part of our program, uh, he's got to live up to the standards that, that have been set. So I don't think you forget about it. You don't just throw it under the rug. But you don't spend time every day uh, gnashing, gnashing your teeth going, oh, my God, Michael Floyd, what did you do to us? It's, it's past us in that sense. Uh, but he's, he's got he's to do the right things every day, and I think he has.